1981, when I was thrust in to be campaign chair for the United Way of Middle Tennessee, it was hard times. One of the things I came up with was an idea of a leadership giving program. I thought I'd seek out the most successful people in philanthropy in Middle Tennessee. And one of those four or five people I turned to was Martha Ingram. Martha immediately got it. She understood it, said, but I've got some ideas if we're going to make it successful. We've got to dress it up. We have to give it a little pizzazz. Well, I had to kind of bluff my way then because I didn't know what pizzazz was. And so I went back thinking, that's when we came up with the thought after running it by her, Alexis de Tocqueville. And uh, the name itself, de Tocqueville, was picked to give just a little bit of, of uh, pizzazz and the right amount of, not eliteness, but a little touch of class to it. It's wonderful when you see this kind of thing happen because not only does the, do the participants grow as the idea grows, but the community is enhanced. And this is what I think we've uh, seen here, and it's, it's very exciting. I'm glad to have been part of, at least a little part of it. <laughs> Visionaries often describe their vision, they leave them on a table for other people to do. But Martha actually goes forward and creates the vision that she has. You can't say no to Martha. In fact, if you know she has an appointment with you, you try and figure out some other way not to go because you know she's got you. Once she walks through that door, you're mesmerized. She's almost like a Sunday morning Baptist preacher. She's not interested in just slapping a Band-Aid on things. She really is interested in changing community conditions for the better. And in order to do that, you have to understand a little bit about what the root causes are of some of the problems facing our communities. And you target your philanthropy toward being able to alleviate those so that you avoid some problems on the back end in our family, at our office, we put the United Way at the head of the list for philanthropy. If we don't take care of the needs, the, the social services, really there is no need to plan for the arts and all the other things that we're interested in. So She's a model for how one gives back, how one owns responsibility for those in our community who are less fortunate. Martha is definitely a pioneer. She is a woman who has made change happen, who has seen opportunity and taken that opportunity to use her resources, everything that she has to make our world a better place. Our children learn more from watching us than they learn from all the preaching that we do. They learn from the way we conduct our lives. It's just so utterly important that we look after those who need the help that United Way offers. So be generous and enjoy the good feeling that comes from giving to your fellow man. I am very grateful to have had Martha Ingram in my life. She's taught me an enormous amount about so many things, including how to be generous, how to be a philanthropist, how to be a leader. She has so much poise and grace and approachability and a genuineness that you don't find very often. She's an inspiration to all of us. Martha is the role model for me and uh, because of Martha Ingram, I'm a better person today. I love your heart. Thanks and congratulations. <laughs>